Yeah, they they don't look good. Uh, yeah, it could be out, uh, or you know, long term, semi long term. The three of them uh, got a broken jaw and a compound break in the hand and a you know ankle knee that we'll have to get looked at. Is that Matt's hand? Someone stepped on it or? Don't know. Don't know. Don't know how that happened. What about the broken jaw? Did you have a good look at? It? Oh, look, it was in a tackle. Uh, you know, I, I've been. Seen any replay of it, but it was uh, him and Harrow both got hit with, with you know, well, they both got up uh, holding their head, so I don't know what happened in the tackle. I'll have to have a look at it. But, um, yeah, well, both were groggy after the tackle, and that, that were the tackles that they both got injured in. Do you think the uh, match review panel should be looking at those tackles? Oh, I dare say they look at they look at them every week, so you know, I dare say they will. Like I, like I said, I. They didn't really replay them a lot at the ground, but uh, you know, both those boys don't lie down. What did you, did you see anything great from Ryan? No, mate, I didn't. Um, you know, first half, ten minutes in, I looked up and we were, we were three plays down. Um, and it all happened so quick, and um, no one, I guess, out in the field really knew what had happened because um, yeah, it wasn't making any subs after that. A lot of reshuffling, obviously, we had been for that. Yeah, a, right a few players got moved around. Um, I guess what happens when you lose any any one player, but uh, with three, I guess you know we made it quite a few shufflings. But um, you know, went back to our I guess most original structure as we could at half time. Um, but you know, just ran out of gas in the end. The cardio hard did that make it after ten minutes? Oh, look, I. Yeah, you I'm know, not here to make excuses. Uh, we uh, on a day like that, you lose, you lose three players in the first 20 minutes. It's, it's not ideal. Um, but you know, at, at 12-6 with 25 minutes to go, I, I thought there was a big shift in momentum there. I thought you know that that we did go back to our starting halves, and um, that made us a little bit more stable. But you know, from that point, we. Uh, just come up with some errors, you know, some, some bad kicks and some errors. Um, and it was a shame the scoreboard got out of that because the score wasn't wasn't a reflection of that game. You know, I thought it was. Uh, I thought uh, if a few things went our way against Parramatta, the, they definitely didn't go our way um, today. Can you tell us a bit more about Harrow? How much more? Uh, ankle and knee. He, he got hit. And he got buckled, uh, and, as, and he just he, when you buckle and you you just fall awkwardly. You know he, he lost he lost sort of uh, his bearings, and, and he just twisted. You know he, was, he had no uh, you know if you've been knocked out, you know what I mean. He just just sort of buckled. You know knee buckled, ankle buckled, and, and rolled them both. So that kind of going to be really impossible. Then? Oh, I just, I, I don't know. I, I don't know the extent of it. You know, the, he'll, he'll have to get scanned and uh, we'll just have to, we'll know, you know, tomorrow. So even though it was a leg and ankle injury, it's, a, it's the knock to the head you're pretty sure that caused it? Um, I don't know, we're, we're getting a uh, tedious one, but I, I don't know. He, he, got <laughs> hit, he got hit in the head and, and, and uh, as I said, the, the bloke doesn't lie down, so. Yeah. It's really big. Three big blokes in the tackle, Guardian, and it's, uh, you know, it's going to hurt, isn't it? When you get hit three different ways by three yeah. players. Well, well yeah, you, you do, you know, but if you've got your bearings about you, you, you you're trained out of four, you know. But I suppose that shows you why we need to bench your four players, because you can see that there was fatigue, um, being fatigued from your play. How hard was it for being one of those players trying to keep playing? Or you look up at the clock and you still got 12 minutes or so, and you're, and you're absolutely adding yourself. Yeah, it was tough. Um, but... Now, the boys must have let it all the way to the end. Uh, I guess the first half, the temperature, playing in the sun, really, really made it tough as well. But um, you know, we, we did, we did muscle it out. You know, it wasn't really till you know, the last ten minutes that um, you know, it was obvious that Knights were going to win. You know, we kept trying and fighting, and 
Um, you know, I, that's a cliche, but it's credit to the boys in the middle that had to um, had to endure uh, a fair amount of minutes. Cardi out for a day's return. Yeah, you know, he he had to basically play in the centres uh, second half, and he I think he got about twenty five in the in the first half. So. Look, he, you know, he was he was effective. He, he uh, you know, it took a lot to get him down. He made some, uh, you know, some nice inroads into him. Uh, but you know, it's a bit hard to judge him when he when he had to sort of play in the centres. We just that was through necessity more than anything else. What are some of the other guys looking like coming back? Takarini. He should be right next week. Uh, Kevy hopefully will be okay. Uh, just picked up a bit of a hammy strain late in the week. Um, so hopeful those two will be back anyway. No, not at all. I, you know, as I said, uh, I thought at, at twelve six, you know, with everything that sort of went against us, I really thought it was going to be a tight game. You know, the, the momentum shifted, and just from that moment, we we lost our way a little bit, and then sort of spoke at half time that we nearly had to play the perfect half of football with with only one front row on the bench. You know, we we couldn't give them any cheap ball, any cheap possession, and unfortunately, that you know that's what we did. Week turnaround, but you're going to New Zealand when you leave. Uh, well, we head over Friday, so we, we've got a full week to uh, to get ready for. Them. Matt, obviously you missed those fellas today, but what impact will their absence have in the weeks ahead? Yeah, well, they've been there uh, for well, you know, for the major part of this year. They've missed the odd game here and there between them, but uh, there's a lot of experience uh, and a playmaker and a guy who, who plays 80 minutes every week. So it's uh, yeah, they'd leave a little. A little hole in us, but uh, you know we we're comfortable with our depth. Uh, we just go just more anxious to see how how long they're going to be. You know, hopefully they're not gonna, all going to be out for too long. Thank you very much.